What's going on YouTube? This is JabberTech. Now I just received an update from my GT King after I did my full review and I suggest that if you guys have this box go ahead and search to see if you have a new update. So how you do that you want to go into your settings go all the way down to system. From here you want to go to about device and then you click on wireless update and this is just going to check OTA style if you do have an update. So right now I do not have any updates. I just got the latest one. I believe it's the P030, but there still is an issue. Netflix does not have any sound. That just annoys me, so I wanted to find the fix. So right now I'm just going to show you guys how to install the Alvatech custom B-Link firmware. Now just make sure to download the correct version for your box. Turn it over, check what serial number you have, and download the correct firmware. If you choose the wrong one, you are going to mess things up. And of course, just a disclaimer, I take no responsibility if you mess up your box. Do this on your own risk. And if you do want to pick one of these up, check my link down below. There's always a great deal going on. First thing you want to do is you want to download the correct firmware for your box. So turn over your GT King and see what your serial number begins with. You have a couple versions here that you can download. Make sure to download the correct one that matches your serial number. If you have a double mail USB-A to USB-A, it's always recommended to do the USB burning tool. But I don't have that right now. I just ordered it. It's coming from China. Probably take a month and I really don't want to wait. So you can use the burn card maker and this is just something that's a little bit easier. I'm going to use a Windows computer. Once you download the burn card maker, open it up and then what you need to do is switch the language to English. If you speak English, choose that second option there. Click on English and then close out of the burn card maker, reopen it up, and lo and behold, everything is in English now. This is very important, guys. Do not change anything else here. Just leave everything as is. Do not change erase and normal. If you do, you're gonna really mess things up, so leave everything in its default. Just click partition and format. This way your SD card is clean and ready to go. Once you select your SD card drive, find the image that you downloaded that matches your serial number. So next, Click on make and then it's going to say your partition's finished. Start to format the disk. Click on OK. Let's just do a quick formatting of this disk. So once this is done, it's going to start writing the image to your SD card. And then the rest of it is pretty simple. I'll show you how to do that as well. You just insert the SD card into the GT King. Now that we have the SD card all set up guys, what you want to do is get yourself a toothpick or a little tool that you'll be able to press in this reset button. Hold it for about 10 seconds as you boot up the device and then the magic should start to happen. Now you should see the little progress bar depleting as the upgrade is taking place. If you do not see this little Android dude and you do not see any progress, give it a few more minutes just to be on the safe side and then just unplug it and retry it again. And now you might be wondering, say you don't like this ROM or you find some issues, how do you revert to stock? I'll leave these files in my description as well. Just download the correct stock firmware, put it onto your SD card using the same method and then you'll be able to revert to stock with no issues whatsoever. Now once everything's all booted up, you should see the Alvatech logo and everything should be just right. You have the choice to choose from two different launchers. So this is the Android One launcher. It kind of looks like what's probably on your phone right now. It's a nice launcher. It's something very familiar, but the great thing about it, it fixed kids. Netflix. Just local kids. It's a very close community. And you didn't recognize your assailant? So Netflix working is absolutely huge, especially if you're a huge Netflix watcher. Prime Video works absolutely flawlessly. Kodi works great as well. Now what I like about this also, guys, is you have all your favorite apps right on the bottom. You can put widgets, you can set it up just like how your Android phone is. And if you double tap on the home button on your keyboard or on your Air Mouse, it'll bring up your Recents tab and just gives you a nice overview of the latest eight applications. You have your power bar, you also have some settings for sound, and you have your three button layout on the bottom, which is really cool. So again, it just makes it a little bit more familiar. And if you wanna take a quick screenshot, just press on the little camera button, and that'll take a screenshot for you. Just a couple things with this ROM. As far as I know, you do not get OTA support. So if a new version does come out, you will have to follow the same procedure to install it. 
and it is running one version behind currently so that's just a couple things to note overall guys i think it's a nice looking rom if you really want to get netflix working and you don't want to wait for b-link this is a great option and it also means that you can turn your android device you can turn this gt king into something more familiar something that looks like your phone or your tablet let me know what you think about this rom down in the comments below i always appreciate you watching thumbs up subscribe catch you guys next time